السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم باك ماي فريندز تو ماي تشانل ان يوتيوب دريلينج اند ورك اوفر ذيس از عبد العزيز جاب اي ام اكريتد انستراكتور ان اي دبليو سي اف ويل كنترول اند اي اي دي سي ويل شارب اي ام اولسو اكريتد انستراكتور ان اي اي دي سي مود انجينيرنج بيزك اند ادفانسد مود سكول لاست سيشن ات ووز اباوت جنرال كويستشنز ان ذا بي او بي اند وي هاف كفرد ذيم ويل Uh, today, inshallah, we will start with very, very, very vital and very important notes about the test of the BOB, the BOB test. Actually, why we talk about testing the BOB? Actually, because this is well controlled. This is the, the, this is the barrier that can prevent you from a catastrophe, which may happen due to well control. So it is very important uh, lesson today. So you have to pay attention to every word I ha I will say today about this topic. BOB uh, test. There is something called the ABI. The ABI. But before we go, we talk about the ABI. What are the types of the BOB test? Actually, before any rig have to buy a BOB. Uh, from the factory uh, like Chaffer, like Cameron, like other, uh, like Hydril, like other companies, they have to make or they have to get a certificate. This certificate must must uh, must confess that there is or must confirm that there is a factory test or what's called body test or a shell test. All these are the same, but the company must have this certificate which. Uh, states that they have made this test. So the test test, if the BOB is 10K BSI or more than this, this the certificate or states that it has that it has uh, that, that there is test there was test performed on the BOB or the BOB has been tested until to 150 person. Uh, for example, for example, if the, it was 10k so you have you must have a certificate which states that uh, the bob has been tested in the factory up to 15k okay but if the bob is 5k or less than this value so it has the, cert the certificate must state that it has to be tested in the factory up to 200 percent which means double than the rated working pressure. So this is very important and a lot of questions in the IWCF exam exam can be included in this uh, in this notes. Number two, the acceptance test or the pre-spud test. What is the acceptance or pre-spud test? Okay, take care that you are now, you will now uh, move, uh, there will be a rig move from location to another location. So before you make acceptance to the rig, what you make, you have to make a full uh, check up on the rig by a checklist, by a checklist. So one of the parts, those parts are the BOB or the will control. And to be honest, to be honest, any rig, any rig is not 100% or it is not a brand new. So it has something that you can already make acceptance without any problems in the will. But you cannot make accept or you are not allowed to make acceptance test without full BOB test. Whatever, okay, whatever for the second time you're team leader or supervisor or even the drilling manager tell you to make acceptance without this test. This test must be done, as I say to you. The RAM must be, the test for the RAM must be 100% of working pressure. Okay, so if you make rig move and you have to make for sure test on the test stamp for the BOB, you have to make a test for the RAMs up to 100%. I don't care about what your team leader, what your supervisor, what even 
the can't the manager your drilling manager tell you to make acceptance and what is the uh, pressure he will tell you to make uh, the test for it is not my job but in as as per ebi you have to make the test for the lands up to 100 percent for the annular it must be 70 percent of the working pressure okay uh, and there is a periodic test number three of the tests for the VOB is periodic tests while we are drilling and making the operation for drilling, for example for a well and it takes plus or minus two months so you can make just for acceptance and there is no test during the during this time actually this is wrong so there is a periodic test what are the periodic tests you are making and what are the notes that you have to take in your mind Number one, the RAM for the RAM must be greater than the maximum anticipated surface pressure. The RAM is greater than the maximum anticipated surface pressure, and this this can be uh, given to you from your uh, managers or something like this. Number two, the annular must not exceed 70% of the working pressure. It is the same. Number three, there is a rule of thumb as I told you there is a function test must be done at least one time per week and we will talk about the times as I in the next slide rule of thumb function test must be done at least one time per week but pressure test must be done at least one time per three weeks so take care of those two notes Number two, the step involves full opening safety valve or IBOB. All the step involves must be tested as the RAM type exactly, like the RAM type exactly. So if you are at the acceptance test, you are making for the RAM for the RAM 100. So you have to make for the full opening safety valve as 100 of the working pressure. And take care, all the tests. For the BOB must be done from below, from the side of the flow, not from the above. As I told you before, the design of the BOB to seal or to prevent the flow is from below, not from the above. So take care of this note very well. And for the same time in the step involves, it has to be from below. Okay, and why I told you this note about the full opening safety valve? Because at some times you are making uh, in rig uh, in work over jobs like you are making rig up for the slick line uh, on uh, on T sub and uh, the full opening safety valve, and you are asked to make a pressure test, uh, for example, for three thousand. Okay, it uh, actually in sometimes it cannot make from the above to uh, three thousand, but we make it plus or minus to one thousand psi from the above. In order to key to, to guarantee it is not leaking and we can make the uh, up to the rating pressure from below so take care of those two nodes very very important notes the testing fluids what are the testing fluids actually well control equipment should be tested with water only with water why because its compressibility is not high or there is it, it cannot be neglected why we talk about this note because one time you are using uh, for example in the drilling you are drilling with oil based mud so how can you or with mud even with mud how can you make test with the mud mud has solids so at some times it may make some problems on the shaft or uh, uh, and shaft may may uh, may have some solids from the mud and it may stuck or may uh, make corrosion or something like this on the shaft but for example, we must use the water in order to avoid any compressibility. So uh, some people are making tests for the, for example, for cold tube. Uh, it's not our time now, but we are talking generally uh, for the for BOB, uh, for uh, the BOB of the cold tube with, uh, for example, with gel. If they are making a hydraulic frag job, no, this is wrong. You must, you must make uh, evacuation for the gel and make it with the water to get uh, real uh, data without any uh, errors in the values so this is very important 
Number two, air should be removed from the system before test pressure is applied. Yes, this is very important, especially in work over. If you are making, for example, a pressure test against nipple uh, or against check valve in the nipple in the tubing, and you are making filling up the string very high, very high, very quickly with the pump. So a lot of gas this will be inside the tubing, inside the tubing. And if you make a pressure test, the gauge will not be give you correct answer, and it will make some leakage. And at the same time, it is not leakage actually, but there is a lot of air bubbles inside it. And also, once you finish, once you finish. The test and start, for example, making circulation or something like this. This pressure, this gases will may make may make drop in the uh, hydrostatic pressure and it may lead to real hard situation for well control. So air should be removed from the system before testing pressure uh, is applied. Number three, control system and the hydraulic chambers should be tested using clean control system fluids with lubricant and corrosion additives and we will talk in details tomorrow tomorrow inshallah we will talk in details about the uh, uh, the control unit or the commi unit and we will mention those two notes what is the abi periodic field test actually it should be done when installed or when you make nibble up for the bob okay Number two, upon installation and after installation, after running new casing string and before drilling the casing show, you should make pressure test also. Number three, because at this time you will change the rams, so you have to make uh, you have to make the pressure test. Number three, following any BOB repair, and we will talk about this uh, in details uh, maybe in two minutes from now. Uh, maximum three weeks as I told you also so how to test a BOB this is very important question how to test this BOB for example you have to make here something you put here something which plugs the flow okay so we use either cup tester or test a plug according to the situation that we want okay so we put here Cup tester or test plug according to what we, we want. If you need to make full full BOB check, you have to use a test plug. If you need to make full uh, BOB test without the shear rams, you can may use the test uh, cup tester. You can use the cup tester. Okay. So how you make a test? For example, you have to make a test for each element, for each element, for each element, each element, as I told you here, for the line, kill line, and for the chalk line. So how you make it? For example, you get a test, a bump test, a, a test bump. You have a test bump with Barton chart, and you make, for example, the connection from here. And you take it step by step. Against the HCR, so close the HCR and open all those valves. Okay, so at this time you are making test against this HCR on the top line. If it hold pressure, <coughs> for example, sorry. If it hold pressure, it's okay. It, you will not see a leakage. If it's not holding pressure, you will see a leakage. For example, if there is here, for example, in the kill line, there is no HCR, but there is two manuals, and I told you, okay, it's two manuals with one check valve, you are, it is accepted. But if you need to make this, two manuals, and you have to remove the check valve from here, or one way valve from here, so that at this time you can make the test easily. Uh, okay, number two, how can you uh, see that the, the tests are done? Actually, you you use the comm unit to close the uh, rams and close the for the for example close the blind ram or close the ram or close the annular BOB and you will see drop in the pressure of the manifold or in the pressure on the accumulator also and then it will be recharged again. But you will see that the the rams are closing. You will see they are their pistons are going uh, to the to the 
inside, not outside. But the HCCR valve has a unique, a unique uh, character or a unique property, which means that when the two, when the two shafts are going outside, this means it is closed. But when those two uh, shafts are going inside, this means it opens. So take care from this very important note for the HCR valve. Uh, you make test uh, from the side, and for example, you make test against, for example, the blind shear ram. Okay, you make here the test plug, uh, test plug here, and you make shear ram with HCR. Uh, against blind ram and hcr for example you make this test from this side and if there is any leak you will check from here okay if everything is okay okay open this and make against this close this and open this and make against the same then you have here the blind shear ram has been finished okay you have to make made test for it one time so make Another uh, okay at this time get a drill pipe and insert it in the test plug and you have to make against the pipe ramps and uh, then uh, after this you have to make against the preventer. So in my opinion you have to make the test step by step at each valve and each ram of this but take care the test must be done from below from the direction of the flow from below or from the direction of the flow. Uh, and after finishing the test, you have to make bleed. You have to make bleed from where? From the needle valve of the test pump. Take care, very important note. From the needle valve of the test pump. And after this, you take the chart. This chart is signed from the uh, pump man, from the mechanic, from the uh, tool pusher, from the wheel uh, operator like you, the company man or the rig supervisor. And it has to be documented and sent later and put on the archive or something like this. Okay, this is very important notes about uh, very important notes about on the pressure test. If you need to make a change for the vibram or make repair for anything in the BOB, a while for example while drilling. Okay, while drilling you cannot make it, but if you have a problem, how to deal with the situation? First of all, you have to, to make to, to pull out to the show. Pull out to the show with a drill string so that you cannot, uh, you are in no hazard for stuck or something like this in the open hole. So you have to pull out inside the casing show, the last casing show, and then you have to change the vibrams or whatever you want to make in the. Uh, maintenance uh, you, you have to make in the BOE. Okay, so how you make it? Okay, if you are drilling in oil well, for oil well, you must have minimum two barriers. You must have minimum two barriers, okay, in the well. What are the minimum two barriers? It can be, for example, if you need, for, for example here, if you need to change the... Uh, Vibram, uh, five inch vibram, for example, for example, or if you need to make a change for the HCR valve, for example. So you have the first barrier, which is the drilling fluid, and the second barrier, which is the drill pipe, must be found. Okay, so at this time, you have two ram, two uh, barriers securing the well in an oil well, and you can change at this time. Okay, for a gas well or for a well or oil well with a high gas or ratio, they are the same. For a gas well, you must have minimum three barriers in the well. Minimum three barriers in the well. So at this time, what you make if you need to make this uh, issue, for example? You can, for example, uh, make here the drilling fluid, which is the first barrier. Number two, the vibrams are the second barrier. And for example, you can you can put the string inside with RTTS and storm valve. This is the third barrier. You can put here, for example, uh, tube uh, hanger, for example, hanger with one-way back pressure valve. 
Okay, so you must have, for example, as I told you, four uh, four oil well, two barriers, but four gas well or four oil well with high gas oil ratio. This is the same meaning. I must have minimum three barriers in the well. To bleed pressure for the test pump uh, through the needle valve or the test pump. For what is the test pump requirement? This is very important question in the IWCF. The test pump must be the rating working pressure for testing VOB must not must be no more than 80% of the test pump. So, for example, he can take to you to give you a, a question. If you are making testing for a VOB 10k, 10k or 15k, what is the minimum required pressure for the pump? Actually, it must be uh, 15, by example, 15. But divided by 0.8, it will give you plus, uh, I think it will give you 20k, uh, for example, or more than this. So it is at least to be 80% of the uh, of the bump. Okay, so this, so this is very important. No. Okay. Uh, the charts must be documented and signed by all the involved person and must include the type of the test, the time of the test, the duration of the test, and every details about the test. Uh, testing tools. As I told you, there are two types of testing tools. There is test plug, and there is plug, and there is cup tester. What is the test plug? Test plug here, as I told you, it can be put inside the uh, BOB, and you can make, and you can make test. Uh, no, not not in the BOB. I, I mean in the well head. I mean it can. It is it, both of them. Are inserted, are inserted, are are uh, involved in the uh, well head. Okay, so if you need to make full test on the BOB, you have to use the test plug. Why? Because it is closed end. There is here a blanket end, as you see, blanket end here inside it. So this is called the test plug. But if you need to make for the all the BOB except Except the uh, except the blind ram or the shear ram, you can use the cup tester. If you need also to make against the well head, you can use the cup tester because uh, the cup tester uh, is open end, not closed end like the test block. So there is here comparison between both of them. We will talk about each one individual. When testing a surface BOB, there is test plug as you see here. It's a blanket run in closed end. This is closed end. As you see here, this is threads and this is a blanket uh, area. Or this is uh, there is no threads here or it is not open here. But it is open from the lower. No problem. Why from lower? You can put some drill collars in order to uh, keep it uh, keep it. Uh, what is the meaning? Keep it fitted well inside the well head. Okay, but it is not. It is a. It is a blanket area here. There is a blanket area. Number two, it has outer seals. It has outer seals as you see here. Number three, sorry, the side outlet valves below the plug, which means the tubing head is bull valve or the casing head is bull valve, must keep be kept open. Must be kept open so that any high pressure. Uh, Cannot damage the any damage or potential damage on the well head or casing can be noticed well. Okay, any uh, potential damage can be noticed. Also, the test it can test all the BOB without any pressure on the well head. It can test all the BOB. But what is about the cup tester? This is the cup tester, by the way. It run with open end drill pipe. Thus, it is open end. Okay. Number two, any leakage can be detected by return of fluid from the drill pipe on the upper. So that, for example, you put here a drill pipe and you put here the drill collars in order to keep it fit in the well head, and you make a pressure test against the, uh, for example, against the uh, drill pipe. For example, if there is leakage, you will see the pressure, uh, the pressure uh, will pass from here. And come from below inside it and up again, so you can notice any leakage from the drill pipe. 
Number three, it has a cup of rubber that's uh, making the seal. Number four, it can test all the BOB except the blind frame. And it also can test the well head. So if you need, for example, if you make, uh, for example, if you make uh, batch drilling or casing batch, you make casing batch, for example, in the work over, and you need to make uh, welding for the, what is the mean? Uh, for the bread and head, okay, and you have to check about uh, it's it's good or not good. So you put the cap tester, and at this time you can make the test inside uh, uh, at the test in the welding about it. So this is very important. It can test the well head. Uh, thank you very much, my friend, today about this lesson, and inshallah I will talk to you. About the, some questions in the uh, BOB test later. If this video appeals to you, please share, like, subscribe. It's your channel, not mine. And thank you very much, and see you later, inshallah.